These days we can see a lot of people creating their own 3D animated short films from scratch. Some of them look cartoonish or stylized and some of them look really great in terms of quality and realism. Today we're gonna talk about the process of creating a short film, an animated short film or movie on your own. If you will learn the skills and the process we'll discuss in this video. So any production of a movie or a 3D animated short film can be separated into three steps. Pre-production, production and post-production. So number one, we're going to talk about pre-production. In this stage, what you're going to do for the most part is planning, creating a story and the characters involved in it. This is very important and it will basically shape how your movie will look when it is completed. This stage is really crucial because it's going to make or break the process as a whole and it can lead to a great or a poor movie in the end. The important aspects of the pre-production stage are number one, the story. Before you make a movie you need to have an idea for the story and why it is important for the people who are going to engage with it. You have to define the main concept of the story and who are the people you are targeting. Number two, the script. When you decide what the story is going to be, you need to write a script for it. You're going to develop characters and their dialogues. The script can refine flaws in the story by making it practical and allowing your characters, actions and word to create the overall direction of the film. Right now we're going to talk about the actual steps of pre-production. Number one, storyboarding. This is the process in which you transform the written story into a design on paper. So you can outline the block out scenes and the dialogues that is going to take place between characters. The storyboard is going to allow you to see how your story is progressing and how long every action and scene takes to complete. On this storyboard, you can also have some notes to explain things that probably are not very clear, so you can also show characters and camera movements using signs or words. Number two, model sheets. After storyboarding, you already have the characters for your movie and you have an idea of what they will be doing. Model sheets show every possible angle of a specific character. These drawings will display all the sides and expressions of a character that will appear in the movie. Having a detailed drawing here makes modeling of the character easier later. Number three, animatics. To have a view of how your movie will look like, you have to create a mock-up of your characters and include their dialogues. This is like a pre-movie and you will still change many things later, of course. Here you see in motion how the characters interact if their conversation makes sense. You can also add parts needed or remove parts of the story that doesn't work well. With your animatics, you can plan the sequences of your scene and the visual effects you will have to add later on. At this stage, you should finalize your scenes and dialogues as it will be more difficult to make these changes during the production. All right, right now we're going to talk about stage two, which is the production. In this stage, you know what you're going to make. It is now time to take the concepts and the story you wrote into action. So number one, we're going to talk about modeling. Uh, in this part of production, you are going to take your 2D characters from concept to 3D using 3D modeling software or packages. And this will define your, how your characters will look in action inside the final movie you are creating. This is where your model sheet will be used as it becomes easier to transform your characters to 3D since you have already drawn all the angles. You have to note that a 3D model of your character itself is static. You cannot show movement or facial expressions just yet because this is will be done in the next stages of production. Modeling also is about creating the environment or the scenes in which the action is going to take place. And I would say the most time consuming part of modeling is this because basically scenes have a lot of complicated stuff, a lot of props, a lot of things you need to put inside the movie. Sometimes you need to create a scene with lots of props, especially when it comes to interior scenes. Of course, it all depends on how complex your movie is. 
if you want something that is not going to take a long time you can spend a week or a couple of weeks uh, maximum on one single scene number two texturing texturing is also a very important part of creating characters and scenes because it is going to make everything look like it is alive 3d animation studios call this process surfacing and it is all about creating textures color for surfaces and interaction with lighting number three rigging rigging is a technique used in skeletal animation for presenting a 3d character model using a series of interconnected digital bones Specifically, rigging refers to the process of creating the bone structure of a 3D model. This bone structure is used to manipulate the 3D model like a puppet for animation. Pretty much anything can be rigged. A spaceship, a soldier, a galaxy, a door. It doesn't make any difference that this, what the subject is. Adding bones, will, adding bones will allow any object to be animated freely. When you finish the process of rigging, you will be able to take your character to action through the process of animation. Animation. After your characters are rigged, you need to bring them to the 3D environment and 3D scenes you created for animation. In this process, camera movement will be involved as well. They will move with the characters to capture their movements. In the animation stage, you have to create the movements of each character frame by frame. This is one of the longest stages of production. It's also where you can make your animated movie great or poor. And if you have the money and experience to work with motion capture technology, this is going to make things a lot faster. Lighting. Lighting is a very important part of creating your scenes and the environment in general. It sets the mood and the overall setup of the scene. If you used a strong lighting, it is going to be too bright. And if you use too little light, things are going to look dim and unclear to the viewer. So you need to find the right balance to tell the story. You can create amazing scenes with very detailed and cool looking characters, but if you can't show your, your hard work properly through the use of good lighting, it will not matter that much. And final, the final stage of production is rendering. Finally, you're going to render your work in a form of frames. For this job, you need a very strong high-end computer, or you can use the services of online render farms, which will allow you to get faster results. You will need to render thousands of frames. This will consume a lot of time if you are going to use one computer only. The final stage is post-production. Now you have an animated movie, but it is not really ready yet because it's not really consumable in this form. It needs compositing and editing. Compositing. This process involves bringing all the elements of the scene into the animation pipeline. You will render the different passes to create the final shots. In this stage, usually a lot of post-production is done. The most important thing is that your movie can be drastically visually enhanced during this process. Sound editing. During this process, you will make sure that the voice is going to synchronize with the characters. This involves lips and body movement sound also. The environments and some other sound effects as well. Music is an important part of the audio in a movie, so you have to put in a good music that fits with what's going on in your movie action and sequences. Finally, video editing. This is the last step in the process in which you will make sure that everything will come together nicely. All the shots that were created will come together in one video. Some shots will look out of proportion with the rest of the movie, so probably you will consider cutting it out. Also, you can add other final touches such as visual effects, text, and color correction. I hope this was useful and helped you to know more about how to create short films that does not, of course, take a large team of professionals. Also, you can share with us your thoughts in the comment section below. And you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.